welcome friends always good to see you again as always we work from my favorite book the red book and i hope you're enjoying the stories today i'm going to present to you from this book again and i'm going to do living things we know so these are some of the living things right here let me take it out of this it's easier to look at this right now so these are some of the living things here so i'll show you the pictures when we get to the end of the story the lesson i'm gonna read okay but um let's read it living things we know things which are alive and can move about are called animals birds and bats fly in the air fishes and frogs and toads swim in water land crabs live in holes in the ground lobsters and sea crabs live in the sea the butterfly the moth live in the um and the beetle they all have wings they are called insects remember we did what insects are in class and we discussed how to distinguish an insect i hope you guys were listening and remember there's the, like the three parts the head the to thorax and the abdomen and it also has wings, two wings. It has six legs. Those are some of the ways that you can distinguish an insect. Okay, some insects don't have wings though, because remember the walking stick did, but the walking stick has six legs. All right, the scorpion carries its tail over its back and it can sting and it does hurt if it bites you. So can the centipede. Snakes crawl along the ground and some of them give poison when they bite. Very, very true. The spider spin is, spins its web to catch flies. That's what they eat. These guys eat. And lizards can run extremely fast. They live on the ground or in trees. All right. So let me show you some of the pictures of, of these guys. Okay. First, we have this delightful fellow here. He, this is a crab. I hope you can see my picture when I'm showing it. Oh, I hope you can make your image bigger. Okay. So this is a crab. This guy here is called a lobster. He usually lives in the sea. And some people like to eat this guy. This guy here is a beetle. A, I'm sorry, a spider. This guy is a spider. And we know he's not an insect because he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He has eight legs, but he is the cousin to a spider, um, to an insect. I'm sorry. Yes. So this guy over here, actually all these guys are like cousins, but they're not insects. You know, they're like cousins to the insects. Uh, the reason why this guy is a cousin and this guy is a cousin because he they have hard shells because remember an insect has a a hard or sturdy shell on the outside. This is called the exoskeleton. You remember we did that in the Zoom class. So it's called the hard shell is called the exoskeleton. This is a lizard. A lizard. This is the guy that lives on trees or on the ground, and this is the guy that's pretty fast. You can't even catch him if you try. Or well, you have to be fast like him. This. This guy here. Is the centipede. A centipede. Has a lot of legs. I believe it's 100. But don't quote me please. I didn't look it up. But this is the centipede. He has lots and lots of legs. You know. This guy. Is the scorpion. This guy is pretty scary. They all related to insects. Because you see the exoskeleton. That they have. The, these guys are cousins to the insects. But they're not insects. This is a scorpion. And this guy is pretty dangerous. But he's so. He's a good looking creature. Okay. So then we have. This big guy here is called a toad. A, to a toad. He's related to this guy, which is a frog. Now, remember, we did frog again in, in Zoom class. That's our new class for now. 
hopefully hopefully not forever and the frog like I, I, I presented begins uh they were all born in water and um they live on this spawn like jelly like substance when they when they when they when they eggs and waiting to hatch and when they hatch they are tadpoles and then they froglets and then they frogs and they come on land. These guys are amphibians because they both live in land and water. This me looking creature here is a snake. Better stay away from him especially. This is a snake. Yep. And this cute little animal here is called a butterfly. Isn't she beautiful? Butterflies are usually beautiful and they're related to moths. But I'm not thrilled about moths. But these guys are related. This over here is a beetle. Oh, a beetle. See? A beetle. The insect has three parts. The wings. Wings is another way to, to distinguish the insect. It has this antenna on its head. You know, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. This is a beetle. Okay, friends. I hope you enjoy this lesson. As I enjoy bringing it to you guys. Okay, until we meet again, enjoy.